As Purdue University continues to recover from yesterday's shooting, more details are emerging about the suspect and the victim. We now know the names, ages, majors, and more about both young men. News Channel 15 Sarah Wagner joins us in Studio 15 with the latest. Sarah? Mark and Heather, both men were Purdue students studying engineering. Friends of the victims say they are shocked and saddened by yesterday's deadly shooting. He was very polite, very humble, very nice human being, and uh, he was a very bright student. Just his persona and just how he carried himself every day. Um, definitely no negative energy ever went out to anyone. The young man these friends and fellow students are remembering is the victim of yesterday's shooting, Purdue senior Andrew Bolt. The 21-year-old senior was an engineering student as well as a teaching assistant. Bolt died at the scene after police say the suspect fired four to five shots in a classroom of the electrical engineering building. The suspect is this man, 23-year-old Cody Cousins. He is an engineering student at Purdue with addresses listed in Centerville, Ohio, as well as Warsaw. Kosciuszko County Police say Cousins has no previous record in the area. Officers believe Cousins' parents live in this house in Warsaw. According to Stacy Page Online, Cousins moved there after graduating from Springsboro High School near Dayton, Ohio. Purdue police still don't have a motive for the shooting, but they believe Cousins targeted Bolt. West Lafayette police officer Kevin Kumi was the first officer to arrive on the scene and says Cousins did not resist arrest or show any emotion. I knew that he had knowledge of whatever occurred. He, he either had to be close, helping the victim. I, I, at that point, I wasn't sure. Classes were canceled today, and campus officials have set up counseling centers across campus to assist with the healing process. We're here to... Uh, to support basically everybody in the Purdue community and get through this as best they can. Cody Cousins is currently being held without bond in the Tippecanoe County Jail. He preliminary, he's pre preliminary charged with murder. In Studio 15, Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15.